So the DJI Osmo 3, is it worth upgrading over the Osmo 2? Well, my view coming right up. What's up all you drawing man ads? Welcome back to Drawing Logic for your drawing and tech related info from my point of view. So the DJI Osmo 3 was released by DJI back in August and it was a replacement for the Osmo 2. And well, first of all, let me see that both these gimbals are absolutely great. I mean, they were per I mean fine. They do exactly as advertised. It's giving you a inability to get very smooth, very cinematic, very professional looking video with your smartphone or whatever device that you use right but the question is is the osmo 3 worth the upgrade over osmo 2 well in my opinion i have to say yes after using it and putting it through its paces comparing both of them i have to say that the osmo 3 is definitely an upgrade and it's better in just about every way and i've come up with seven key areas from most important to leave in which I felt that the Osmo 3 was better and it started with number one it has a smaller profile now one of the biggest issues that I've had with the Osmo 2 that if I could have corrected I would have was with my camera that I use that a Kodak Extra I oftentimes had an issue with or all the time I had an issue with the motors the bigger motors getting in the way of the shot right I would always have to zoom in at least 20 to, I would say 20 to 25 percent to not have to get the, the motor in the shot. And I had to always remember this. And sometimes I would forget and zoom too far out and I would get the motor in. And some, it would sometimes ruin some video in shot. But, you know, the only way that you can overcome this, though, is by using a, I guess, a bigger phone such as this one here, which is extended away further enough where you don't get it in. But with my camera, I always had an issue with that. Now, with the Osmo 3, I don't have a problem with that at all. With the smaller motors, they just simply don't get in the way. So, with that same Kodak Extra smartphone, I can zoom all the way out, no problem. So, that was, I mean, getting my biggest issue with the Osmo 2 using the device that I use. Now, number two is access to the ports. That's one of, one of the issues that I've heard most people speak on about the Osmo 2 and I experienced that myself. I mean, I originally got the Osmo 2. Well, one of my intended purposes was to be as a, a tripod for my camera and for making videos like I'm doing now. Well, the problem is, is that I use a USB mic and I could never plug it into the port because it's covered up by the motors, the, the one of the side motors. So that was out. You know, even though I still got some good uses out of this thing and it's great, but as a tripod for making videos, that was out because I could never have access to the port. Well, the Osmo 3 pretty much solved that and I have access to, you have access to both sides. And you know, with these smartphones, the camera is always installed at the top and of course for the most part it's the charging ports at the bottom so with the Osmo 2 you just really don't have access to it they solved that with the Osmo 3 now number three is a lower center of gravity now because of the Osmo 3 having a smaller profile and smaller motors the whole top half, top half of it is just smaller thus making it lighter and you have a lower center of gravity and makes it far easier i mean a lot easier to maneuver and when i first activated my osmo 3 and started using it i thought it was just me at first then i realized once i you use the osmo 2 again no it's very easier to navigate because it's lighter number one and because of that lower center gravity you just don't put as much stress on your hand and you don't feel you don't have the the need to switch back and forth as nearly as often as I did with the Osmo 2. So that's a definitely an upgrade. Now, number three is the improved Bluetooth. Now, I don't know if it's all devices or perhaps maybe it's just my camera that I use, the, that Kodak Extra smartphone. But what I found with the Osmo 2 is it all it consistently dropped and lost, uh, lost connectivity with the Osmo 2. Now, it's not a huge issue because the, the gimbal will still work. 
right? It still give you that smooth, cinematic, professional looking video. The problem is that you just don't have access to the zooming button on the side. Well, with the Osmo 3, I never had one single issue with my, with my camera dropping and losing Bluetooth. So that's a plus. You know, again, I was having that uh, the zoom function and having that access at your hand is is just so much better than having to touch the screen to do so. And also, the record button. You can't record without the Bluetooth. So you can get around it, but it's just so much more easier and seamless to be to do that. And I never had a single issue with my Kodak Extra disconnecting from the Osmo 3. So that's definitely a plus for me. Now the number five is the auto balancing. With the Osmo 2, you know, you have all these mechanism screws, you have the levers, you have to put your phone in and you have to try to balance it out. And if you try to use different phones, different devices, depending on the size they are, you're gonna have to rebalance them and unscrew the screws, move the, the arm level out to balance it before you turn it on. Well, with the Osmo 3, you just simply mount the camera in halfway, top, halfway down, and you're good to go. So basically what that means is less clumsiness, less fumbling around, and you get up and, and going and taking video much quicker. You know, if you, some, you see something that you really want to get, you can get going with the Osmo 3 a lot faster because it's just so much easier to mount. You just, like I say, you just mount it halfway in, and you're good to go. You have no issues where you don't have to worry about trying to rebalance it, recenter it. You know, if you take it out your bag, your gimbal bag, whatever, and you have to re readjust it, you don't have to worry about that with the Osmo 3. So that's definitely an upgrade. Number six is the trigger button. Now, one of the biggest complaints that people had of the Osmo 2 was the, they just removed the trigger button from here and from the Osmo 1. Now, I never experienced that because it wasn't there. However, using its trigger button on the Osmo 3 is it it definitely an added benefit. In other words, it's just a, for the most part, a sport mode. So if you want, wanted to track something, you're at a sports game, you wanted to track something fast, you just click that trigger twice and you're in sport mode and you can keep up with just about anything. Well, that just simply wasn't available with the with the Osmo 2 or as fast. So you have that ability at the touch of the grip. So it just means that you just it, able to enable it and disable it at the squeeze of a trigger. So that's definitely a bonus. Now, is it the huge thing? No, but it's, it's definitely something great to have when, if you have to track something fast and you, you, know, at, you had a game, football game, wanna record your children or whatever it is, if you need you have a need for speed and quick tracking you have that access at the at the squeeze of a trigger now last and number seven is the seamless transition between a portrait and a landscape mode now with the osmo 2 it's possible but you have to physically with your hand you know you pull the mount back and twist it up and then twist it down in order to be able to have landscape and portrait. And for that regard, I never really bothered changing because I always did landscape anyway. To me, I prefer landscape, but there would be times when portrait mode would be more preferred and it's just not worth the hassle trying to do that, especially with the gimbal on and you mess around, you have basically mess with the gimbal, stop its performance, it could possibly damage the motors. So it just never was worth it. Well, as with the Osmo 3, you have it seamlessly at the press of a button. You know, you push that power button twice, you switch back and forth. So it's just seamlessly. So it's there before you. If you ever needed a, to switch between either, it's right there for you. That's what I, I mean, that's, that's the added bonus now. There's other issues such as uh, the foldability you know, to me, that wasn't a big issue because I keep my gimbals in you no know, gimbal bags. So that wasn't really the hugest issue to me, but that's something that a lot of people speak of. Now, not to say that the Osmo 2 isn't worth it because if you decide to save some money and go with the Osmo 2 over the Osmo 3, well worth it. I mean, it's a great product. It gets the job done. And I've basically gotten some great video, you know, from using this thing. Of course, with lessons learned. But uh, anyway, that has been my drone logic today. 
If you decide to go with either one of these, you can't go wrong, but I would stir you to the Osmo 3. It's really worth it. All the upgrades make it that much better. And as always, y'all, until next time.